Prime Minister Phạm Minh Chính, his pounds, and a high-ranking Vietnamese delegation arrive at Melbourne Airport on March 4th, beginning the trip to attend the ASEAN Australia Special Summit and official visit to Australia. The summit marks the 50th anniversary of the ASEAN-Australia dialogue relations and will be followed by an official visit to Australia from March the 5th to the 9th at the invitation of Australian Prime Minister Anthony Albanese. Themed a partnership for the future, the summit presents an opportunity for both sides to reflect on their five-decade relationship and plan for future development in, in line with bilateral comprehensive strategic partnership established in 2021 Prime Minister Phan Minh Ching, along with other ASEAN and Australian leaders, will outline visions, directions and concrete measures to expand cooperation in the coming years. Notably, Australia is to propose new cooperative initiatives, which, if agreed upon, could lead to breakthroughs in bilateral relations and further bolster ASEAN-Australia relations. A delegation of 111 delegates of the Ho Chi Minh Community Youth Union joined more than 20,000 others from all, all over the war in the 2024 War Youth Festival in Sochi, Russia from March uh, 1st to March 7. With the theme of connecting young people around the world to build a common future, a multipolar, Fair one based on cooperation and balance of interests. The 2024 One Youth Festival hopes to create an open space for young people to meet, share, and raise awareness about issues of concern to young people in the current situation. The Vietnamese youth delegation will participate in the 2024 One Youth Festival with a message of peace, integration, and development. Through this festival, Vietnam has an opportunity to promote the country's image as well as its socio-economic development achievements after more than 45 years of national unification and more than 30 years of innovation. Central Vietnam Vinh Airport to be expanded. Vietnamese woman may be world's oldest living person. Vinh International Airport in Nghệ An Province will be expanded by more than 2.5 hectares to raise the number of aircraft stand from 6 to 9 at a total investment of over 230 billion Vietnam dong, approximates 9.3 million US dollar. The province authority announced that it has approved from uh, the Airport Corporation of Vietnam ACV, the operator of all commercial airports in the country. To be the investor in carrying out the project, the ACV will use a military land plot previously managed by the Ministry of National Defense for the expansion. The work will focus on renovating and expanding the aircraft parking area, building a terminal and installing a secondary radar station. Reports of a Vietnamese woman in southern Dong Nai province being two years older than the world oldest Hono living person, recognized by the Guinness World Record, have gone viral on social media over the past few days. A 119 years old Trinh Thị Khung residing in Dong Nai, southern Vietnam, surpassing Maria Branias Moreira, an American woman acknowledged by the Guinness World Records as the world's oldest known living person by two years. Documents show that Khung was born on June the 14th, 1905, in Chiu Son District, Thanh Hoa Province, North Central Vietnam. Currently, she resides with her daughter in Long Khang City, Dong Nai Province. The Long Khang administration is currently working with Khung's family members on gathering necessary documentation to officially recognize her as the world's oldest living person. The city of Long Khang is home to 45 centenarians, with Khung being the oldest. Chuyên ngự oral bananas of Đại Hoàng, 
cultivated in the village of Dai Huang, Huang Hou Commune, Li Nhân District, are among the distinctive fruit for not only of Hanam but also of Vietnam as a whole. The banana is small and has bright yellow skin and a sweet smell when ripe. Uh, its beauty and taste has made the area famous since the 13th century. In local history books, once a Chen dynasty king and his entourage descended from the Tanglong capital to rest at the Li Nian court, they tasted the local bananas. Impressed by the delicious flavor, the king bestowed rewards. Since then, the Daihuang village bananas were named royal bananas or banana fit for the king. Over the years, Ngu bananas have gained widespread recognition, becoming popular and holding high value in the market. Bananas planted close together will produce very small fruit, so we must plant trees to end a half meters apart, rows three and a half meters apart. Other places have tried to grow it, but the variety has degraded. Only the royal banana of Dai Hong still retains its delicious taste due to the soil and climate. Ngu bananas boast abundant potassium, amino acids, 11 types of minerals, and 6 vitamins. These bananas stay sweet and aromatic even when stored for weeks. Displaying them on the ancestral altar adds an elegant and dignified touch. We have earthen vinegar chambers, using straw and ash to warm up the bananas for ripening. In summer, it takes only seven continuous hours of warming for the bananas to ripen, while in winter, it takes almost a full day. The Ngu bananas of Dai Huang are now labeled and certified for food safety. They are widely consumed in many provinces and cities nationwide, including those in the southern regions. The people of Dai Huang village have prospered in their banana cultivation, enriching many on their homeland. That's the end for today. Thanks for your watching and see you next time.